Good morning from Gotland. Today we're going to be exploring the south part of the island. But before we head out there, remember to like this video and subscribe. There are new travel videos every week and I really appreciate your support. But for now, let's get out there. So right now we're in a place called Grogansberget, which is a mountain overlooking the Baltic Sea. And uh, to get here, well, this is a re nature reserve and um, there are uh, freely roaming sheep here and this is a <laughs> traditional then style ladder which enables you to get in and out of the nature reserve without uh, letting the animals out so um, yeah this is uh, how you uh, get in so now we have made it to the lookout point uh, it's a beautiful place to get a really a good overview of the landscape. We have a uh, lighthouse in the distance and also we spotted a big ship or a ferry uh, over there, which then maybe is heading to Finland or Estonia, for example. So I was just flying the drone and now it's absolutely pouring down so I need to uh, pack it down. So we have now driven along the coast south and ended up in a little fishing village called Hervik. Uh, it's really cozy, they have a little restaurant and uh, places where you can park your camper van. A really cozy little uh, town. We are now at a place called Sandviken, which is a really beautiful beach here on the eastern coast of Gotland. And uh, yeah, it's not extremely long, but it's quite long and very, very beautiful. Um, and yeah, also uh, very, very calm sea, uh, not a lot of waves. Hide, late night drinking, wishful thinking, what if you were here? And as you see, the weather is clearing up. It stopped raining, so uh, yeah, and we see blue skies in the distance, so it's promising. I don't want to mess up your night, I don't want to put up. The most iconic things of Gotland are the raukar, rauk fields, which are rock columns often grouped together. And uh, yeah, this is something really unique and special about the island and you can find them in different places. The most uh, famous one is located in the north part of the island, which we will be exploring tomorrow. But you can also find some spots on the south part. And we are in a place called Fulhamar, uh, which has these beautiful limestone rock formations behind me. As you can see, these rock formations are quite large um, compared to the ones that we visited on Öland uh, last year, which were quite short in comparison to this. 
So it's quite impressive actually. Um, and uh, yeah, this is one of the lesser known Rauk fields. And uh, yeah, still very, very beautiful. It might not be the Leaning Tower of Pisa, but it's definitely the Leaning House of Gotland. It's the end of the weekend, but I still wanna turn up. Yeah, I still wanna turn up. All I want is to go again, but you ain't picking your phone up. Why you messing my head up? You all know that I love a good lighthouse, and we have made it to the Ned Lighthouse, um, which is from 1872, and it's this really lovely bright red and white color uh, located here by the sea and if you like lighthouses just like me then definitely check this one out we have now stopped for lunch at a place called Valmingsbo Vicarage Cafe uh, so uh, it's uh, the old vicar's house which has become a, a restaurant or a cafe and uh, yeah, in the summers there's lots of seating outside, which is really nice. And uh, yeah, we have some salad and soup. And uh, yeah, we'll enjoy our lunch and then continue exploring. Lately my thoughts got me distant Darker days filling up darker minds What you see behind me here is one of the most famous raukar on the island of Gotland. It's called Hoburgsgubben. And if you look at it from this angle, it's supposed to look like an old man. Um, let me know if you think it looks like it, but I can see the resemblance uh, when you look at it from this angle. On the island you might find this kind of house and it is an old traditional style uh, farming house and especially where the sheep could go and get their food and in Swedish it's called lamb gift and the meaning of that is lamb gift so yeah the lamb or sheep could come here and get their gift in form of food. <laughs> Stuck in this room that keeps spinning, wondering how you been, where you hide. Late night drinking, wishful thinking. What Gotland has their own species of horses, and uh, yeah, we can see them behind me here, and they're called Gotlands Rus. Um, yeah, and also another uh, fun activity you can do on the island is to go horseback riding. <laughs> Overlooking the... I have a um, potato and... Where's the root somewhere? Made out of dried seaweed or... Uh, short compared to these. Tom. Seaweed. Seaweed. Caviar. Caviar. 